So we'll be using a 300 screen resolution so that we can have a very clear image and the size increases. So unlike this image is very sharp, so I don't need to take it to vivid light, high pass. I don't need to do that on this one because our image is sharp, it, is, it has a lot of quality. So now what I'm doing now is I want to separate all the body parts, the face, the hair, the eyelashes, the brow. So that's it guys so keep watching and please keep following pay attention to every little details is very important thank you i'll be with you shortly place you hold your command key you hold your command key and click then we'll go to the layer one that is there then we'll press backspace to delete layer two from layer one to sharpen the air i'll make sure i duplicate the layer first before going to vivid light filter order and i pass okay then i'll do that for my bro layer i'll do that for my bro layer too okay that is eyelashes then i'll do it for my lashes too do the same thing duplicate change the blending mode to vivid light order i pass then control e to merge those background to merge them together control e to merge them together so now i want to begin my oil painting make sure you you draw your sterilization your shine your clearness draw it to a place that you know okay this is suitable for you before you click your okay then you then you see there's difference and then started to look cartoonish so now i'm going to do the same to my eyebrow and eyelashes too just watch closely guys pay attention i hope you guys are getting it and i hope i'm not too fast So now I'm going to match all the visible layer together by pressing my Alt Control Command E to put them in one layer, duplicate the layer, name it smudge, then I right click to make sure I create a clipping marks around it. So now I want to begin my smudging guys, so pay attention and please why smudging, don't, don't be too fast, okay? Make sure you are smudging according to the shape of the face much little by little though you might make mistake first time but just keep trying make sure you are smudging it carefully gently so the face doesn't lose shape lose the shape so 
watch closely guys um i'm trying my best to do it as fast and as slow as i can so i don't want a bored video by people are watching 40 minutes so i'm trying to reduce the time to the minimum so people know that okay you're not wasting your time so watch closely see the way i'm doing the um, the smudging i'm smudging like edges by edges I'm not just taking the smudge around it like that i'm taking it carefully so i don't lose the shape of the nose or the eyes we will be with you guys shortly thank you oh, yeah, yeah. to zoom out and increase my brush to smooth all those rough parts out to blend those colors together to look smooth yeah because it might be it can be rough sometimes so you just have to zoom out just blend them together to look smooth see so now i'm going to create a new layer empty layer name it one by one after those different parts i've cut so now i have to make sure my foreground color is black and white yeah, I can press X or D to change it. Yes. Earlier, I'll select, then I'll use alternate backspace to make it active. Then I'll change the blending mode to color. Change the blending mode to color. And once I change it to color, it blends. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use my eraser tool after this to clean some part of the hair that showed on the face, on the skin. I clean most of this place. I don't want the black color to shine over. Yeah, so just pay attention, closing. So I'm using my eraser. Yeah, to clean all those places away. I'm blotting it out. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So those places now, the skin color will show over it. So I don't need them to show too much. So I'm going to repeat the same process for my eyebrow. Blot, blot out the place I don't need. Because I, because I want it to bend, blend very well. I'm going to also do the same to my eyelashes too. So guys, I'll be with you shortly. Just watch. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
the eyes is white so I'm making the eyes a white color color then there's a little bit of orange around the little eyelash lid i'll reduce my brush opacity and brush over the place i need okay now i'm going to the lips i'm applying color as usual so there's nothing new there i hope you guys are following if you're following me you should be where i am now be, be where i am now around those dark edges i'm using my bone tool yeah i'm using the bone tool to add it on those black area now i'm going to change it to dodge i'm using a mid-tone dodge I'm making sure my exposure is around 11 so you can see it's adding a little bit of brightness it's making the image pop up a little yeah it's making it pop up a little i use mid-tone because highlight is too too sharp so after this mid tone, I'm going to use the highlight to make sure some places are just a little bit lighter than the rest of the body. Based on how my image is looking. Yeah, sorry for the just giving me shoes. Okay. So now I'm adding a soft light on a new layer. I want to add a little bit reddish stuff. Yeah, to the skin color. Can you see it? I'm adding some reddish stuff to the skin color because that's how it is. It's not, you don't, it's not my first you add it to. You can add if you want, if you don't wish. So it just look like a little bit of makeup around it. Making sure the layer is on soft light. Then your brush opacity shouldn't be much. Shouldn't be more than maybe 15 or 20. Depends. So that's it, guys. Oh, using vibrance a lot so yeah i'm going to reduce the saturation because it's too saturated so, and just add a little bit of vibrance to it you know to just give it a little bit color i love see it's too saturated so i had to reduce the saturation just to blend in have you seen that it has changed so now i'm going to be having and then checking everything to see the difference between the one i've done and the one i've added my vibrance to so let's see how well it looks. I add my curve. I'll go to my adjustments and my curve. Yeah, just make it a little bit dark. Yeah, that's too much. I think it's okay like this. Okay, now let me now add shadow and highlights. Let me reduce the shadow. Let's reduce the shadow. And I'm going to increase the highlight a little bit. 